I'm really interested in the idea of making things that are little surprises. And uh, people travel through the underground every day. Most, uh, many people do. And what I'm trying to do with my piece is make something that changes ever so subtly every day. So many days people won't notice it, but other days perhaps they will. I find the underground really interesting just in terms of an art show because it's bringing in art and the personal into a very stale sort of space that people use in the everyday to um, go to transport themselves when the weather is like too cold to be outside. My work is about passage, not only passage of physical space, but also time space. Originally when I uh, th thought of um, passageways, it wasn't so much about the physicality of the underground, but it, it was, but in conjunction with ideas of time. Rather than people passing through my work, as you do down a hallway or a passageway, perhaps people will stop at this point and then use it as a compass and then change their coordinates and um, kind of stop and, and kind of ponder what it is that I've done, what kind of uh, chaos perhaps I've committed in the, the food court area. I kind of uh, thought of passageways as um, a distance between two points, so my work will kind of examine that relationship between two different points and um, the spaces in between them. I use sort of passageways in my artwork, um, sort of about like finding belonging and finding identity. So you're finding your own passageways or you're, you know, you're, you're seeking and searching for where you belong. On s'est dirigé donc vers une approche qui était phénoménologique, donc tout ce qui a rapport avec la perception de l'environnement, perception de la vie, du monde, etc., des choses matérielles, aussi le behaviorisme, donc le, la façon qu'on se comporte dans l'espace, et euh, finalement, l'identité. The idea of the piece, in fact, is a passage through time and a passage through experience. So the idea is that someone comes upon these, this piece, and there are uh, five or six panels throughout the, the course, and uh, they're not remarkable. <laughs> Maybe they're not remarkable. But then over the, the course of the passage, someone sees it and goes, I think I saw that before. What, what's that about? Why did someone put that in my way? And I think it, the idea is to try to just ever so quietly and gently interfere with somebody's casual passage through the space and just make them pay attention a little bit more. The work actually comes from a body that I finished in 2004 called The Pile Project. I would um, go into public and private spaces um, with permission and I would uh, basically take the contents of the room and kind of turn it upside down and um, create these kind of piles. And then Ev contacted me and uh, the same kind of um, disruption of space continued. So my work is sort of born out of um, ideas of homelessness and uh, the nomadic structure. Um, so a lot of it relates to the inability to rebuild a memory and a place of, uh, from my youth and from uh, my childhood and a place that it doesn't, it never really existed, but the idea of reaching for something um, sort of unattainable is there. And like the futility of trying to encapsulate or recapture something that is gone. I use a lot of colorful threads and yarns and stuff like that, and it's really about a transition from um, those three-dimensional lines I make with the yarn into a two-dimensional line with paint, so it's uh, that transition between the two dimensions and um, it's really kind of examining the uh, relationship between the work and the space it's in. Uh, I really consider the space to be a very important part of the work um, and just how it changes people's, in people's interaction with um, the spaces. It's a love letter to Montreal. It's about uh, my admiration and uh, Long, lifelong admiration for the art uh, that's been made in this city and my attempt to make something that I think emulates it and pays homage to it.